Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your March 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so the messages will not resonate with every Scorpio who views the video, but if it resonates with you, please like, share, comment, it all, you know, is much appreciated. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, check with another reader, uh, Check your rising, moon, Venus signs, whatever you feel is best for you. All right, so, um, yeah, I'll save the announcements to the end. We'll go ahead and get started. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. I'll get give the cards a quick shuffle, and then we'll get started. Uh, I am a little under the weather, so bear with me. All right. Okay, so let's start with... Scorpio in love. Thank you for the messages for Scorpio for love. True, accurate messages for Scorpio in love. Thank you for the messages for Scorpio in love. True, accurate messages for Scorpio in love. Okay, let's go. All right. The messages for Scorpio in love. Okay, we got two. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Sun, nice, Three of Cups, Eight of Swords, and at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. All right, so it looks like This isn't a new connection, Scorpio. Um, for some of you, this is a, a connection maybe of a, a few years, <clears throat> five or more years, I would say. Uh, maybe there is a disconnect or there was a disconnect. There was a break taken in a relationship. Someone is hoping for reconciliation or just to... Get back in someone's good graces. Uh, it looks like it's a positive move toward that. You guys have planted seed here. Could be with an air sign or another uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself. Or even either a Leo or another fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. So we've got air, fire, and water here. You've been through a lot with this person, with the Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands. You were waiting for this person to come back, for some of you. Or at least waiting to travel to them. I see the Eight of Cups here. You're waiting for the connection to come back together. It looks like it will. So for some of you out there who are waiting for reconciliation, it looks like reconciliation will happen. Let's do one more love spread for... A different set of Scorpios. Thank you for the messages of love for Scorpio. True, accurate messages of love for Scorpio. Messages to govern and guide their lives. Messages of love for love for Scorpio. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Scorpio. True, accurate messages for Scorpio. All right, we got a Five of Cups. The Emperor. The King of Wands, the Four of Swords, Four of Cups, okay. Nine of Cups. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So some of you dealing with a fire sign. 
in the last spread, someone some wanted reconciliation, was open to reconciliation. Looks like it was going to happen. In this spread, it looks like some something happened in the past. There was a might have been third party situation. There might have been infidelity on Scorpio's part or their partners. And if you're dealing with a fire sign, maybe or either a Taurus, Aries, or a Leo. This is like a father figure, a very, very handsome, very knows, very sure of himself, knows that they're handsome, father figure, you know, head of household, pretty much, you know, typical, stereotypical type guy, you know, man. He's, you know, he's a man's man, but he's also charismatic and he, he can be a ladies man, king of wands, the emperor here. Very stern, though. Lays down the law, and, and that is the law. It's very hard to compromise with this person. In which, maybe that's why you're either in prayer about the situation, um, maybe about what happened in the past with the Five of Cups, Four of Swords here, you're either in prayer or meditation about what happened in the past, or you took a break from each other. The Four of Cups is... Someone being unfulfilled, bored, tired of a situation, tired of, oh, I'm here, I heard of dictatorship, hmm, and they're hoping and praying for something else with the nine of cups here, higher fan, they're going to seek spiritual guidance, whether it's actual counseling or tarot card reader, a uh, spiritual leader in your community, whomever, you're seeking some guidance here with the, the Hierophant as to what you should do because there is a conflict within yourself, conflict within the, the her marriage. Five of Swords. Because something is, is not equal. Six of Pentacles, there's no reciprocity. There used to be. Mm. Good luck with that one, Scorpio. Um, seeking counseling, you know, guidance outside of yourself is definitely um, a good way to go. At least if it does break down, you can say that... Um, you try. And that's all we can ever do is try. At least. Alright, so let's move on to career and finance. Career and finance for Scorpio. True messages. True accurate messages from the Lord of Light. Our creator. True, accurate messages for career and finance. Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages for Scorpio for career and finance. Messages for Scorpio and career and finance. Career and finance. All right. Five of Pentacles. Okay, some of you are feeling lack or feeling like there is lack there. There might not be lack. Or there could be lack. Let's see. Two of swords. <coughs> Some of you need to make a decision about your finances and how you govern them and what you do with, with your finances. Right. Queen of Pentacles, justice, right. Queen of Pentacles is, is very much in tune in, in the know with finances this could be male or female uh we got justice next to the queen of pentacles scales this something's off balance here somebody's spending more putting more money somewhere else putting more money out to someone else money is just uh it looks like it's in focus for you career and finance
the moon. Yeah. Uh -huh. The bottom of the deck, the empress. I thought so. Somebody's spending a lot of money on. Now I'm speak to my man, or or uh, same sex, whatever. Um, somebody's spending a lot of money on a woman or to impress a woman to the point where there might be there they might be on the verge of depletion with money. They have a decision to make about the money that's that's being spent, how they're spending their money. It's not equal, it's not balanced. You know, so much is going out, not as much coming in or you're spending everything that comes in. There's no balance. There's no savings. There's no, um, you know, extracurricular money, whatever you want to call it. I'm no guru on money, so don't get me started. But I do know that there has to be balance here. The moon is here. See, and, and, and then the empress at the bottom of the deck. Someone might have a wife and, and a woman on the side. And that's the two of swords. And that's the imbalance. The justice. Money's going every way. Every way but the right way. The moon is here saying... Uh, I'm going to say what I heard in the beginning. Someone is doing a lot of emotional spending. Um, like the moon has phases, you know. And according to, for some of us who are governed by the moon, you know, different phases of the moon, we do different things, we act a different way. All of us, but definitely those who are more privy to how you know the moon and its phases and its cycles that's how you are with your money you know you you get into a phase and you just spend you get into a phase and you you aren't conscious and cautious of what what you're doing and it might be due to the fact that there is someone else that you're spending on the empress nine of swords yeah it's causing you some anguish. Like you're wondering like what I'm going to do for money. Six of cups. Children may be involved here also. Some of you had have to or had to pay child support. Money was going different ways to the new woman, to the children and the wife or ex-wife. And then we reduced down. I thought I would see this to the four of pentacles. To the point of just holding on. It's not as if you don't have money. Because what was under the four of pentacles was the nine of pentacles. It's not as if you don't have money. But it's. You have to be careful here. And you know you have to be careful here with the four of pentacles. Because now you're trying to hold on to your status. You're trying to hold on to that bank account number. You, you want to add a certain amount, and it, you're trying to keep it there, but it's very difficult. For some of my men, for some of my women, too. Uh. All right, we're going to do home and family. Home and family for Scorpio. Home and family for Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio surrounding home and family life? Messages for Scorpio surrounding home and family life. Messages for Scorpio surrounding home and family life. Messages for Scorpio surrounding home and family life. Home and family life. 
All right, the Six of Swords, Home and Family Life for Scorpio. Six of Wands. King of Cups. All right, there's you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Some of you are trying to get away from conflict and chaos and drama. Some of you are actually moving. Having a physical move and having victory in your move. Some of you just trying to get away from drama, chaos, and, and actually succeed in it with that. And in that seven of pentacles. Okay. Okay, and then we have the seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck, the empress. Okay, immediately I'm hearing that somebody is moving away and becoming single. You know, we got two moving cards. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. Someone is moving away from family life. Definitely family life here. Moving away from what seemed, you know, right and just well put together from someone looking in from the outside. But... It wasn't. And the Empress. Four of Swords. Two of Pentacles. The World. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Power. Yeah, someone moved away from the family life. They prayed about it and meditated about it to make sure this is what they wanted to do. Two of Pentacles, this might be the, the love affair or the business partnership that's not approved of. But even in the, the Two of Pentacles, we have the World, then the Ace of Cups, then the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Tower. Someone willing to put in the work elsewhere with someone else could be this empress for my scorpio women or for my scorpio men it says if you're leaving one situation going to another either this is love for oneself and just becoming single with the nine of pentacles or this is moving away from one situation into another and willing to put the work in here the tower is here Something fell apart due to maybe lies and secrets with the moon here. Justice is here, but the scales will be balanced. The chariot, somebody, yeah, somebody's moving along single by themselves. They're not taking the relationship. They're not taking the family life. So this is at home and family. Someone could be actually exiting the the shared residence getting kicked out of the shared residence due to the fact that they had another party they had another a third party that's what's going on there all right let's do spirituality and inner growth Spirituality and inner growth. What's the messages for Scorpio for spirituality and inner growth? Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality and inner growth. What are the messages for Scorpio? For spirituality and inner growth. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Scorpio. Just 
messages for Scorpio for spirituality and inner growth. All right, here we go. Not okay. Nine of Swords. So some of you are having some restless, sleepless nights, some agonizing thoughts, uh, replaying the same thought, the same situation over and over in your mind. The higher fence. Maybe in regards to a committed relationship, getting counseling, uh, a job situation, maybe work at a big, you know, a, a big corporation, a big firm, uh, a marriage. There's some agonizing thoughts here. What are, what are these agonizing thoughts about? What are these agonizing thoughts in regards to? All right. These agonizing thoughts may be in regards to the two of wands. You having to chart a new path. Go a different way. Choose to actually physically do this. With the two of wands. Two of swords. Wow, yeah. And your inner growth and spirituality. It's, it's about making a choice to, to move away from. You fill in the blank. Move away from Eight of Swords, but still, but feeling trapped. It's reducing Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. The the mental thoughts are still there, but now it's thoughts of okay, well I can't even devise a plan to get out. The Seven of Swords would be devising a plan. It will, will be a plan of, you know, a sneaky plan, but it is a plan. The Eight of Swords is I don't even see a way out. There's a way out. You're not trapped. You're not stuck. Every time you think of how you, this could best work out for you, and maybe all parties involved, you keep going back to, what well, that's not going to work. Six of Cups. Because there's children involved. The moon, once again, and you're holding on to those secrets and those lies. Either you, Scorpio, or the other person. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with the air, L or Taurus. Here we have the Hierophant. The Empress keeps popping. The Empress has been here. All three spread. Okay, guys. So, all right. The bottom of the deck, Justice, once again, is... You have to write this. You have to write the wrong. There's someone else. Scorpio man, Scorpio woman. There's someone else. Either you or your partner is contemplating actually physically moving toward this person. I mean, like making a real foundational move toward this person. The emperor and the empress is here. They look at each other very... Like a, a, di a dynamic duo. The Knight of Wands. Could be a fire sign. You could. This could be your partner. The Chariot. Three of Cups. Nine of Wands. The High Priestess. Full of Fortune. What's happening here in the spirituality. In the inner growth. Is that it's supposed to happen. The Wheel of Fortune is here. And the High Priestess. Uh, and the moon, right? I think we have the moon again. Yeah, we have the moon. <clears throat> you guys know that either you need to leave or the other person is contemplating leaving. They want to leave. They have someone else. You know it. It's supposed to happen this way in this fashion. Um, looks like they, this person wants to move on so that they can then go have reconciliation elsewhere, maybe with a fire sign who's pretty intuitive. It's supposed to happen like this Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and there it is the, the Seven of Swords and Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Devising the plan of action to get away from what's already been established, the marriage, the home life. I think the only thing that's keeping 
said person here, whether it's Scorpio or the partner, is children with the Six of Cups. That's what's going on in the inner growth in spirituality. All right, let's get some advice cards. I don't have my advice cards right next to me, so I'm going to do advice cards from our plan cards deck. All right, so advice for love. Give us one card of advice for love. One card of advice for career finance. One card in advi of advice for home and family. One card of advice for spirituality and inner growth. One card of advice for love. 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 All right, the death card, the ace of spades, uh, death, transformation, endings with new beginnings. So there'll be endings and new beginnings in love. One card of advice for career and finance. And that's also uh, air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, so too many came out. All right, one card of advice for career and finance, career and finance, career and finance, career and finance, career and finance. Nice. Ace of Diamond, um, a new foundational way of making money. Uh, this could be engagement. This could be the start of a new business. This nine of wands or nine of clubs just to keep coming out all right <clears throat> so this card popped out twice i picked it up twice in the playing cards deck the nine of clubs means new boyfriend new girlfriend a secret admirer all right for whomever or whatever that is there's your confirmation one card of advice for home and family one card of advice for home and family. One card of advice for home and family. Card of advice for home and family. Card of advice for home and family. Four of clubs. All right, in the playing cards deck, this is like the tower card. You know, things being break, broken down, a bad event, an unexpected event comes in and shifts the energy, shakes things up. And then we know the four of clubs or the four of wands is, is the home, is the foundation. One card of advice for spirituality and inner growth. One card of advice for spirituality, inner growth. Eight of Hearts, Three of Clubs, wow, this is a uh, spirituality, inner growth, you know that you have to walk away from a situation and you're anticipating something else to come in and you're walking away with the three of clubs here. There's also gossip. This could be visitors in your home too. But it's also walking away and, and waiting for the new boyfriend, the new girlfriend. 
the secret admirer fire sign we have that all over the spreads yeah two two of clubs six of hearts might feel like this is a soulmate some of you are you know you want to go a new path but the children are holding you here all right that's it scorpio if this resonated with you or you want to pull your own energies maybe surrounding yourself or your partner please email me at tarot of l at gmail.com also um you can reach me on insta go they, all of the information is below you can follow me on instagram you can choose to fund the, play, the page by clicking the go fund me link um okay psa i do not know how to do live videos if anyone would email me if they were like wanting to help me <laughs> be able to go live or like live stream that would be really helpful um yeah so just some advice some tips i don't know just let me know if that's you know something you want to share with me because i don't know how to do it and i'm not tech savvy okay so remember scorpio when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care see you guys in april